Hi, my name's Rob. And I'm Alice, and we are scientists working for Croda in the sun care part of the business. So why do we need sun creams? Although our skin has some natural protection against the sun, uh, specific types of radiation produced by the sun can be very damaging to our skin, so we need some extra help. The main type of damaging radiation is ultraviolet or UV radiation. There are different types of UV radiation. UVB is linked to the burning of the skin and UVA causes the ageing of the skin. Both UVA and UVB have been linked to skin cancer. Each sun care formulation contains a range of UV filters. These UV filters protect the skin from the UV radiation and they act in three main mechanisms to reflect, to scatter and to absorb the UV radiation. Titanium dioxide is a very good UV filter. Here we are making titanium dioxide particles of a known and defined particle size. After we've created the titanium dioxide particles, we will coat them and disperse them in an oil or a water carrier. These dispersions of particles will then be passed to Alice's team so she can formulate them into final formulation. So once we've made the dispersions, we need to put them into a sun cream so that we can demonstrate them to our customers and so that we can do some further testing. A sun cream is an emulsion. Examples include mayonnaise and paint. Um, an emulsion is where you have an oil phase and a water phase that normally wouldn't like to be together. But we mix them together with an emulsifier, which is a type of surfactant, and these allows the two phases to, to stick together. We have two types of emulsions, oil and water or water in oil. For an oil and water, you have oil droplets dispersed in a water a continuous phase. For water in oil, you have water droplets dispersed in a continuous oil phase. So to make an emulsion, first of all, we take the oil phase, which has the oils and the emulsifier in, and then we add the dispersion. Then once we've got the oil phase and the dispersion mixed, then we add this to the water phase with stirring. Then once the oil phase and the water phase have been mixed, now we have our emulsion, we just need to give it an extra powerful mix to make the oil droplets nice and small. And now we have the completed sun cream. To put the SPF on the label of a pack, you have to measure it in vivo. So that means measuring it on people uh, to see how much protection is offered from burning. Um, but we can do screening before we get to that stage by testing in vitro. So this means we test on plastic plates that have been roughened to mimic the skin's surface. And then we use um, an instrument to see how much light passes through the film. And we'd repeat this until we've taken nine scans on one plate. And then we'd repeat and do another two plates before we get our result. So we can see the absorbance curve of the lotion that we've tested. And we can see that we have good UVB coverage and good UVA coverage. And then it tells us here we're getting an SPF of 22. So we have an SPF 20. So when we're developing sun lotions, as well as thinking about the level of protection of, against UVB and UVA, we also need to think about some other things. Um, the lotion needs to be safe, so it needs to be non-irritant on the skin. Uh, it needs to be easy to apply, spreadable all over the body. Uh, it needs to be pleasant to apply, so a nice feeling on the skin and a nice fragrance perhaps. Uh, it's not just the performance of the sun cream, it needs to be nice to use as well. We sell our dispersion products to people that make sun creams, so the manufacturers of sun creams you might see on the shelves, use on your summer holidays. Um, rather than going to these businesses and taking a bottle of dispersion, uh, we make them into example demonstration sun lotions to show them what they can do. So we might have um, different formats for the different types of products that we have. Uh, we might have lotions, sprays, gels, to demonstrate all the different ways you can use our products. Studying chemistry can lead you into all sorts of different areas. Uh, you could be involved in academia, you could be involved in industry, 
Um, I looked at the back of, of what was on a shampoo bottle and I could see the ingredients. Someone has to make those and develop those. I like what I do because I can see what I've done at the end of the day. I've taken these ingredients and I've made something that I can put on my skin, I can feel, I can look at, I can smell. So I like that I can see what I've achieved at the end of the day.